Welcome to this introduction to the Dell command line interface for VDS, part of Dell Active Fabric Manager. Network administrators can easily design, configure, and deploy data center fabrics with Active Fabric Manager, the comprehensive network automation tool from Dell Networking. AFM also helps simplify operations and optimize network performance by monitoring physical and virtual switches in the network infrastructure. New to AFM 2.0 is the Dell command line interface for VDS, an industry standard command line syntax that works across physical and virtual switches, giving network administrators visibility into their network infrastructure and providing end-to-end -end management of physical and virtual networks. Dell CLI for VDS helps proliferate SDN and network virtualization by providing network administrators with a familiar way to view, understand, and take ownership of their virtual networks. And Linux savvy scripters can use Dell CLI to automate routine network administration tasks. Dell CLI also gives network administrators the ability to find VMs by MAC address or name and perform programmatic actions, programmatically start or stop port mirroring sessions and perform other network monitoring tasks, perform batch updates of ports, and perform network troubleshooting, management, and monitoring through a scripted interface. The infrastructure for this demo includes Dell Active Fabric Manager with CLI installed as an OVF, with CLI exposed to SSH as a VM. We also have a series of hosts, switches, and VDSs, which we'll send commands to using CLI through vCenter. So let's get started. We'll use PuTTY to connect to the CLI virtual machine and then log in as the administrator. We can enter a question mark to get a list of help and commands available in the global context, and then type in enable to show additional commands. The show VDS command returns a list of all the switches in our vCenter environment, which corresponds to the switches we saw earlier in our network diagram. We can connect to any of the switches using the VDS command and the VDS's name, and entering the question mark again shows all the new commands available to us in this context. We'll enter the show interface brief command to display information for all the ports available for this VDS, including the port name and type, whether or not the port is blocked, its current state, the configured VLAN for each port, and the port group. We can scroll down to see more results by hitting any key and can exit the results page by hitting the Q key. We can drill down to see an individual port's information by using the show interface command with a specific port number which returns comprehensive statistics for the selected port. The show NetFlow command shows the collector IP address and port, the VDS IP address, and the NetFlow port groups and ports we can monitor on this VDS. The show VLAN command shows all of the VLANs configured on this VDS and includes information about the type, active port groups, and ports assigned to each VLAN. We can drill down into an individual VLAN by using the show VLAN command with a VLAN port group number and use the show VLAN summary command to show all active VMs deployed on our VLANs. And the find command along with the VM name, IP address, or MAC address returns information about an individual VM. We can enable or disable a range of ports using the port group command and the name of a VLAN. To do this, we'll enter the port group command with VLAN 2071 to enter port group mode, and then enter the config command to enter configuration mode. We want to enable ports 14 through 16 and 18, so we'll enter the no shutdown command with the port ranges and names. And we get a ports enabled message back from the system. We can check the results of our action by exiting configuration and port group mode, entering the show interface brief command to list all of our ports again, and we can see that ports 14 through 16 and 18 are no longer blocked. There are additional configuration commands available to us and we can enter the config command followed by a question mark to see a complete list. Let's use the disable and enable NetFlow commands to modify NetFlow properties on some of our VLANs and ports. We'll first exit configuration mode and enter the show NetFlow command to display the NetFlow information for this VDS. We want to disable NetFlow on port group VLAN 2072 and port 21 and enable NetFlow on port 262. To do that, we'll return to configuration mode Enter the disable NetFlow command with the port group VLAN 2072 qualifier, and the system returns a NetFlow disabled message in response. Now we'll follow the same procedure to disable port 21 and use the enable NetFlow command to enable port 262. 
We can check the result of these actions by exiting configuration mode and entering the show NetFlow command again, which shows that port group VLAN 2072 and port 21 are now gone from the list and port 262 now shows up. Exiting configuration mode and entering the question mark displays other actions available to us, including changing the password, using a wizard to modify the patch used to connect to vCenter, and changing system settings like DHCP and IP addresses. For more information about Dell Active Fabric Manager with Dell CLI for VDS, visit dell.com networking.